at this point, you already know that Git is like a save point system. And what we have done over the last few videos so far is to learn how to use Git to create proper save points at different points of your game or your development file or your project. So now you have learned how to save, how do you undo and load the game from a previous state? And that's what we're going to cover in this video today. Usually what happens is in Git, it is more complex to undo something that is already on the remote. So as much as possible, you want to keep things on your local until they are kind of confirmed and then you push them onto the remote. So most of your commit messages will be made on the local branch. And when it's on local, it's very easy to undo. We will go through four common scenarios in this video. The first scenario is when you have created some files and it is not committed yet, but you realize that you don't really want these things to be written anymore. So you want to delete everything you have done and return back to your previous commit save state. Um, let's say in this case, we want to create a new feature. So we're going to go into the HTML and say new feature. Then let's say you this feature requires some CSS, right? So we're going to open up the CSS file. Say the feature has a font size of 2EM and probably some other styles to go with it. Now, now, so at this point, maybe you have written a lot more and you feel that nah, this, this feature is something that you don't really want and you want to reset back to the previous save state. What you do is you can go into fork, go into the changes column. You see, these are the changes that we have. You can select them and select, uh, right click and select discard changes. Once you select discard changes and you have discarded the changes, go back to your project and you'll see that the feature class and the feature div is already gone. So that's the first scenario. When you have something that you have written but you haven't committed them yet and you want to throw away all the things they have made since the last commit, you can go into your staging area and select discard changes for, for the files that you want to discard. So let's talk about the second scenario right now. The second scenario is when you have created a commit and you missed out a file in that commit. So we'll go back to the feature example. So let's say for example, we have this feature diff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stage index.html and I, I'm going to write a comment message that says add feature. And then I'm going to comment the file. Then sometime later I discovered that I did not write the CSS for feature and I want to write the CSS for feature. And ideally I want to put those two things in the same commit because they are related, right? So let's write feature and once again font size 2em and other styles. Now, if you go back into fork, you would see that there's a main checkbox at the bottom left corner of the um, commit area. So you can stage the files you want to change and click on amend. This will allow you to amend the previous commit message. So you can amend the last commit and add the files or remove the files. No. So you can add the files that you wanted to add or make any changes that you failed to change before. So that is what the second scenario is. You want to amend the previous commit so it aligns with what is what actually needs to happen. The third scenario, well, is you have made a few commits in your local repository and you don't really like the commits you have made so far. And maybe you have discovered that there's a better way of doing things and you just want to throw away all the changes up to a certain commit that you haven't pushed onto the origin yet. So what you do is to go into the git history, look for the place where you want to go back to. So in this case, we can say, we can go back to this merge master branch into develop because, well, well we're going to develop branch and this is the branch that we, that is in the origin. So we, what we can do is we can go into this commit, right click and say reset developer, reset 
branch, in this case it's developed, to here. What this is going to do is to discard all the commits that we have done on our local repository and reset it back to the commit that we talked about, that we identified. So, and then you can choose your reset type, which is soft, that means you keep all your changes and then you stage the difference, or you mix, that means you keep the changes and stage the differences, or hard, that means you discard all the local changes. So it's up to you which one you want to choose. Um, you can choose hard if you are very sure you want to discard everything. And you can choose mixed if you are if you if you want to preserve something and fix them up along the way. So what I'm gonna do is choose hard and choose reset. So if I choose hard and choose reset, and then now we go back into the project file again, you see that the feature diff and the feature CSS we have made is already gone because we have discarded the changes that we have made. Now, so here's the, that's the third scenario. One thing to take note of in this third scenario is you cannot reset your local branch past the point in the origin. So just take it like, this is like two time, time scales, right? And in the origin, the present is here. In your local branch, you can control the time. If you reset it back to a time that is past this origin and you try to merge it, then there's this part where there's a time conflict. So you can't merge the conflicts this way. So what you want to do is when you reset branches, you want to make sure that it doesn't go beyond what is really in the origin. So that is what is important to take note of if you want to do a reset. For the first scenario, we want to talk about what happens if you have made a comment and you pushed it onto the remote branch already? So how do you undo that comment? So in this case, let's say we put the feature again, feature, and, and the CSS feature, font size to em, and other styles. And we are gonna commit this feature and push it onto um, remote. So once you pushed something onto the remote, you cannot reset it because someone else might use that commit of yours because it's already public to your project. So what you want to do if you want to undo whatever you did is to revert the feature. So what a revert does is it creates a commit message. It does the opposite of what you have commented in that commit. If you have added a line, it will remove that line, for example. And you have removed a line, it will add that line back, for example. So that's what revert does. Um, right now, you have seen that I've really pushed it onto the develop branch. What we can do is to revert commit. Then you have to commit the change. So what we see here in the commit is it says revert add feature. And if you go back into the project, you'll see that feature is gone from the CSS file and the HTML file again. And you can push this onto the branch and there will be no conflicts. So those are the four scenarios that I'm going to share with you today. These are the most common scenarios if you want to undo something in Git. But of course, there are more complicated scenarios. Like if you push onto the remote and then there's this whole string of comments that you have made and then you want to discard them or what do you do? Those are a little bit more niche and more complex. Uh, so I will point you to a blog on GitHub that actually teaches you how to undo most changes that you already made in Git. There are certain features that you have to use, like rebase, that we, have haven't, co that we haven't covered yet. Uh, but let's talk about that in a later video. Okay, so that's it.